everyone, I am Amanda from Mandy Lynn Plans. Welcome back for my February flip through. I did want to start out with my cover here. This is new since the last time I filmed a flip through. This is one of the new Hobonichi spring covers and I am loving it. It's so springy and it's really getting me in the mood for everything spring. So then starting off with my monthly spread, it looks like I still need to come in with my memories, but for the most part, everything else is in. And then moving to the weeklies, this is actually the first week in February, but I did not use a full kit. I just wanted to use some washi that I had. Um, so a couple of washies and then just functional stickers from the tropical line. And um, this is kind of a big deal around where I live. I do live in Kansas and the Chiefs winning the Super Bowl was a very big deal. So that was very exciting to watch. And then flipping, this was, kind of the beginning of me getting the groove of the weekly planning this way. And so each week you will see that there are just very little variations. I think that um, after this, they all kind of look very, very similar. Weather at the top and then habit trackers on the sides, my three dots for the to-dos at the bottom. So I've been really, really enjoying that layout a lot. And then moving to my dailies, I did show this before, but it was blank. I went in quickly and just kind of wrote things down. I didn't worry about it being cute. I just wanted it to be functional and it has been helpful having my ideal week kind of laid out. And then I'm going to skip several pages. I just did some journaling. So actually quite a few pages I was successfully journaling. And then I kind of got back into using the daily pages as they're actually intended. So the timeline, and then tasks. And then you have this other bigger section at the bottom that you can really do kind of whatever you want with. So I kind of go back and forth and use it um, just for little random. Here I did it for my school to-dos and then um, trying to nail down an evening routine. And I was even getting a little decorative with some of the stickers and washi that I was laying down. Here I got some new pens from the Tokyo Pen Shop. And so I wanted to kind of just swatch out those really quickly. And then I wanted to put this fun little sticker down as well. And then I also got the new Pintel Mature colors and I've been loving those. So I was playing with those and using my Coletto pen and really just kind of getting back into the swing of having a daily page that I can really use as much or as little as I want. Here I use it just a little bit less than I had previously, but then I could go back to using it more. And I just love the flexibility of this. I know that I had said in a previous video or maybe on Instagram that my dailies weren't getting used and that's when I switched to the journaling and that was working for a little bit and then I felt the need to go back to using a full-blown daily. One of the things that I absolutely love of the Hobonichi Cousin, I've said it from the absolute beginning back in 2018, is just how flexible and customizable this planner is. You can literally use these daily pages and the weeklies and even the monthlies so many different ways that it just makes it the best planner for me. I love this nice big A5 size. I have big handwriting. And so I just love the freedom and the space to be able to be creative if I want or lay some cute washi down if I want or just make it completely functional too. So that is my February flip through. Let me know how you guys are using your planners in the month of February, if you're changing things up or if you're staying the same. If it's not broke, don't fix it. That's good too. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time.